Miller base hit left field. One run scores. They're going to wave home the back runner. White the throw to the plate. He is out. Made at home plate on a very close play. So the Rangers will think about taking a look at it obviously. Well, you saw White look like he tried to sneak that left hand in there. But was he able to do it. So they're having a big discussion just off home plate. This is a crew chief review of the out call at plate and the slide rule. So a crew chief review and it was well explained. Crew chief review and they're going to look at look at the slide rule which would be did Murphy give him a path. And the answer to that is a resounding yes because you can see Murphy actually collapse back into his lower half and take a seat at home plate in an effort to try to block the plate once he does have the ball but all the while Eli White being given a clear lane to home plate that's why he tries to slide that hand in there before the analysis here's the rule verbatim unless the catcher is in possession of the ball the catcher cannot block the pathway of the runner as he is attempting to score if in the judgment of the umpire the catcher without a possession of the ball blocks the pathway of the runner, the umpire shall call or signal the runner safe. Notwithstanding the above, it shall not be considered a violation of Rule 601I2 if the catcher blocks the pathway of the runner in a legitimate attempt to field the throw. To home plate, he always had a path to home plate. Let's begin the video analysis by seeing if the runner always had a path to home plate. Okay, so first and foremost, the ball is not yet in the catcher's glove. That is not possession of the ball. What that means is the catcher is not allowed to block. The liminal space between the catcher's legs is not sufficient to avoid a violation of this rule. This is precisely the type of plate blocking and yes, no doubt, this is blocking the plate without possession of the ball. The fact that he later gains possession doesn't matter because the runner is already upon him when he is blocking it without the ball that the rule is intended to penalize. In other words, remember when Posey got hurt because the runner barreled into him? That's why I said the runner was already upon him. MLB made the rule so that the runner has a choice at the initiation of the slide. Do I run into the guy? Do I slide legitimately, so to speak? The catcher gaining possession of the ball right at the moment where the runner is already in the air or already sliding on the ground becomes somewhat immaterial if the catcher was already blocking the plate without the ball as the runner began the slide. One final hint, when we talk about giving the runner a path, we generally mean giving the runner foul territory. That's an example. So many times on these plays, what we're looking at is whether the catcher gave the runner a corner or a side of the plate without any obstruction. Between the legs is obstructive. The most telling sign that a catcher is legal and gave the runner a path is when the catcher cedes foul territory to the runner and takes a position on the line and to the right of it or in fair territory. Murphy's foot is clearly blocking access to the plate. It's on the wrong side. In there. And some of these three plays, it looks like he's out, and then some of them, it looks like he's safe. Yeah, it's going to be a bad, this is a, this may be a good look here, Dallas. See, now there, it almost looks like he After may be there was a violation for blocking the plate. The run scores. Yeah. So well explained by Doug Eddings that there was a violation for Sean Murphy blocking home plate. I did not see that coming, nor did I. Because it looked like White was able to get his left hand to home plate. Well, that's the whole point. Is if you can, if you can tag home plate, you're probably being given a lane. You're being given access. And this here, you can see Sean Murphy retreating. His right foot steps, or his left foot steps on the plate, and then to the side of the plate. Again, the whole point of the rule is to avoid collisions. This is considered a collision. If you give the runner the foul side of the plate, you don't collide. You might have a hard tag, it might be contact, but you don't have a full-on collision. Here you have full body contact, which like it or not, this rule is designed to avoid. You tell me why Eli White's foot could not have gone where his hand went. 
because then he'd catch the catcher in the groin and there would be a fight. Not seen that On second thought. Very often, and when it has been made, it's been a, a, a very obvious call. That did not strike me as being an obvious catcher violation of blocking the play. When just by the way that Sean Murphy was set up lets you know that he's cognizant of not blocking the plate. He's not. I'll try one more time. It's this that we saw today versus this, which will be giving a clear path to home plate without possession of the ball. I think it needs to be very, very obvious that there's no place for the runner to go. Yeah, that was not the case there. And the runner proved that it wasn't the case. It's just a bad call. So, so it's goes as a two-run single. Wow. Pitch to Marcus Simeon, and it's hit high toward right center. Piscotti over, and he makes the catch. So the inning ends. A very, very controversial call made by the umpires. But the Rangers get to Brian Knight says, I know, I know. Remember, Knight called the runner out. The umpires called what the A's liked. It's New York that called what they did not like. And Mark Kotze just got thrown out of the game. He came out to talk with home plate umpire Brian Knight about maybe some. He had his scorecard in his hand, or not his scorecard, but the lineup card. And I had a feeling Mark may have went out there and said, you know what? I, I got to fight here. I, I got to do this. And he did. And Brian Knight may have known it and he threw him out. 